Okay, hi. Today I'm going to talk about our new program in robotics, Bachelor of Engineering in Robotics Systems. I'm going to talk beyond robotic building. Basically, what we are talking about is the program itself goes beyond building robots itself, and we look at the processes itself, that how robots are built. Those are the processes we also want to concentrate on. So, robotics. In recent times, we have seen a lot of exposures to robotics in Singapore, especially during the COVID-19 uh, COVID pan uh, pandemic season. We see that robots are basically coming into service to help humans. We see robots in national park doing surveillance, doing uh, patrolling. So we're starting to see that robots are coming into our daily lives. And it is with this itself and the anticipation that there's going to be a need for robotic systems that this program was created. So what we aim for is to prepare graduates when the time comes when COVID-19 is over, when there's a huge demand for automation. And this is the part where we're going to see a huge demand for engineers that are able to work with robots. So the program. The unique features about the program that this is a specialized engineering program. It focuses on the systems engineering of service and field robotics. We're going to talk more about systems and engineering and we're going to talk more about service and field robotics systems itself. Our approach is basically we are using software and artificial intelligence to integrate different parts of the systems to create a complete robotic system. So this is centered around our uh, systemic development of service and field robots. So what we are looking at is not just the product itself, but the process itself of how to create the robots. And we are very much focused on projects. We're going to approach the teaching and learning of this field in using something what we call project-based pedagogy that I will elaborate later. So we have spoken to several potential companies that will hire uh, graduates from the program. These are the companies that we have spoken to and they have shown great interest in hiring graduates for as a robotics engineers, as application engineers, as a systems engineers in each company itself. And with this blessing itself, that's why we have created the program. The program. There are two main fields of studies in this program. Robotics engineering or robotics and systems engineering. And in robotics, we are focusing on service and field robots. What it means is we are looking at robots that work, op work or operate beyond the shop floor, beyond factories. So we are looking at robots that are working in unstructured environments, environments that cannot be really foreseen and pre-programmed into the systems right in the beginning. So these are the areas that we're going to look at. And the way we go about developing robot is based on this concept of a platform with functionality added on top of the platform. We have a basic platform, for example, the Spot Robotics platform from Boston Dynamics. We, from on top of this platform, we will add different functionalities to different sensors, different effectors, and we are going to look at how can we customize the platform. So this is the focus of the program itself. And more importantly, we're going to see how software can be used to connect or interconnect all the systems together and we're going to use AI to program processing itself of behaviors. So individual areas that the program covers. First, robotics engineering. In robotics engineering or robotics itself, we're going to look at how do we build up the robots itself. Once we have the robots, we need to look at how the robots sense the world, how can they get information from the environment it's operating in, how can the robot effect actions into the environment to, to perform its job and how can the robot navigate within the environment. These are all covers in modules that cover sensing, manipulators, and effectors and actuators as well as navigation. Next area is mechatronics. All the robotics features are built on top of mechatronics infrastructure. We have our mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, electronics engineering, and computer engineering that allows us to build up the basic foundation, the platform, for us to develop our robots. The next area is software. Once we have the hardware in place and interconnected, we need the software to gel everything together. This is the part where we get systems to talk to each other, and this is the part that we get everybody to communicate, and, we, and how can we connect our brain from the AI 
to different to the platform to individual subsystems itself. So in this area, we are covering this through the modules in C, C++ programming, systems and software engineering, computer operating systems, communication and networking. As we see robotic, the evolution of robotic system, we see that as systems get more complex, it's not just building itself. This is the focus of the talk. Basically, what we're going to look at is not just building. Because of the demand of the functional, different functionalities from the robot, the development process itself, the product itself, as that is the robots itself, is getting much, much more complicated. So as we see, not only do we need to look at the robot, we need to look at the context, the environment where the robots are going to operate in. We're going to look at how the life cycle of the robots itself or the robotic systems that we are going to build. Things like how do we conceive the idea, how do we operate the systems, how do we build the system, operate the system, and eventually how do we retire the system. All these are under the concept of life cycle of the robotic system. And a much more important thing is while developing, we are really focusing on the integration of different engineering disciplines. So that's where the concept of systems comes in. The second focus area of the program, systems engineering. We start off with the concepts of systems, how a big system is, uh, consists of parts and how the in interrelations of the parts gives the system its functionality. And we are drawing heavily from body of knowledge that has been created by NASA, by Incose System Engineering Handbook. We are drawing a lot of experience from systems engineer elsewhere that have developed systems and we're going to follow their first step, the methodology that they have developed in our development of robots, essentially to handle such complexity in our systems. So in systems engineering, these are the topics that we will cover, business analysis and requirements engineering, where we look at the justification for developing the robot, why are we developing this robot and what services it needs to provide. And then we look at the system architecture and design. How do we structure different parts of the systems together? How do we test? How do we integrate? How do we verify and validate all the different components when they are connected? And then the processes itself that we need to use for the development of such robotic systems. So these are covered by all these separate uh, modules within the program. And the program itself draws heavily on projects. So anything that has been learned through our applied learning approach. We are going to implement those through projects. And we focus a lot on how do we teach with projects. Essentially, what happens is students will learn different modules, different knowledge from different areas. And it's essentially, after that, they're going to integrate everything to produce a tangible system through projects. There are basically two types of projects to train up a student in the beginning. We're going to have mission-focused projects where we look at the mission, what the robot is supposed to do, and we're going to concentrate on the building of the robot. Then we, at the end of each year, there'll be a systems-focused project whereby we, this time around, our focus shift to not the product, but the process. We are looking at the process of the development of the robotic systems itself. How do we go about applying systems engineering principles? So these kinds of projects will be, we will use this kind of project for the first two years to train up the building of robotics systems building. And once we have achieved certain competency in terms of building robots and the processes itself to deploy for building such robots, we're going to go send students out to the industry in the integrated work study program. This is the part where students will work with a company for a year to create robotic systems. They will see practical application of what they have learned in the, in in the industrial context. And after the third year, their IWSP program, they'll come back to SIT itself to complete their capstone. This is the final project itself. The student will build elaborative system, commercial, industrial-like uh, robotic system that will be used in the field. And that will conclude the program itself. And with that, I will end my presentation.